in this world, if this is not the first and not going to be the last digital library. There are, there are thousands of such digital library efforts that have gone on. The, the Ministry of Culture has a huge 1,000 crore digital library effort, etc. Et so what Professor P.P. Das has just mentioned is we position ourselves as the integrator. Once you position yourself as the integrator, then you need to have people who are creating this information. So the people who are going to create this information initially will be several libraries who will create the information about what they possess. And what they possess will slowly convert to what they are creating. For example, the thesis, the reports, the presentations. Every academic institution, from a school to an institute like an IIT, is producing information. So we are here to first encourage them to produce information and produce that information about that information. And then we will provide a means to collect, collate that information, archive it, and then redistribute that information to several people. So the idea is very simple. But once we go down to the brass tacks of it, once we try to even size this system, once we try to look at the functionality of the system, once we try to look at the interface of this system, then the problem immediately crops up and the scale becomes very grand. So all of us will have a dream of what we think and what we want the National Digital Library to do. But the main objective of this integrating facility, which will evolve over time, is, as Professor Das pointed out, a movement, a culture that will develop. Once the culture develops and this integrated information starts getting collated, then a lot of information will be made available to others. <coughs> For example, just a few days ago, as soon as we started creating them. As I said, there have been huge library efforts. But all the library efforts in this country, thousands of crores have been spent. But when we made the presentation, both to the minister as well as to the uh, uh, empowered committee of the HRD ministry, uh, it was immediately clear what the potential of this is. And as soon as we started you know, there are two ways. One is to design it completely, fully, and make a full-blown design, well-studied, and then go and start implementing it. The other option that we have taken is to start with an implementation. Start with something and make people use it. Start with it and show how it works. So we have got what we call a zeroth implementation, which only all of us only some of us know what to do and how to use it. And as soon as we put that up, we ourselves began to realize the potential of this national digital. The potential is just enormous. As soon as people start creating and putting it up, then research problems come up. Once you have all this information archived somewhere, then can you imagine that people will be able to do research on this available information? Just a few days ago, I was in Delhi because the Honorable Minister called me, and one of the organizations uh, here, you must have seen uh, this person on the TV, he comes on cricket, Boria Majumdar. So Boria came and called and said that, Parthada, uh, I have the South Asian archives. So we have five million copies of material from 1700. Lots of documents are there, and they have done it through one organization, through Taylor and Francis. They have done it, and they have got it uh, made, scanned it, made it searchable, etc., etc. And they want to, you know, give it for a license. Some people have licenses. So as soon as you see such material available, you realize that if you put it up to people, people will be able to use this material to create more research. They will actually be able to 
create more research on data, evidence-based research, which you normally don't get even from Google Scholar. So the objective is to get all publishers on board, to get all individuals on board, to get all institutions on board, and then try to ensure that we are able to collate, synchronize, and collect, and disseminate this information. For us, we really do not want to project ourselves as the leaders of the National Digital Library Board. Because here, this is such a passionate subject, and this has been addressed by so many people in the country. As soon as you project that I am doing it, five people will oppose you trying to find faults with you. So what we have projected ourselves is you are doing the National Digital Library, we are only collecting the information. That way, everybody has turned out to be helpful. And once the committee started seeing the demo, they realized that there is huge, huge potential. And today, the Ministry of HRD has written to all ministries to identify nodal officers who will be part of the National Digital Library. So today, not only are we getting institutions sending their uh, nodal officers information, not only are we getting government officers from the uh, law department, from the culture department sending their officers, we are also amazed to see Fertilizer Corporation of India sending their nodal officers. And we are not really sure what we are going to do with that. So, we now have a problem at hand which is really big. It's, it's a huge engineering challenge for us to try and develop this over a period of time because people's expectations will always be beyond what we are capable of doing or what we have done till now. As soon as you show something, people will want more. So the final objective can never be defined for this topic. Sorry. It is going to be an evolving topic. And what we now aim that this should be able to change the way people learn. This should be able to change the way, the divide between people who have access to something and who don't. For example, a class 10 student, and there are the very interesting things. When you do a demo, then you come planned with something. So I planned uh, with heat. When I went and first showed the joint circuitry, I said, shall I type heat? So he said, no, type thermodynamics. So I typed thermodynamics, and by good luck, thermodynamics came up. So then when we presented it to the MHRD secretary, I said, shall we type thermodynamics? Because that joint circuitry was there. No, he said, type laws of thermodynamics. And you cannot imagine, all three of us were just waiting. And when we kept type the search, just imagine, the first result was first law of thermodynamics, second result was second law of thermodynamics. So sometimes, you know, God also helps you for reasons not known to you. <laughs> and then there are you know, Gautam is recording, but then there are interesting exercises that we have to do. How can you start a project? So we started the project officially about three to four months ago, when funds were not approved. Nothing was approved. Only one letter in principle approval. And then a letter comes from the PMO saying that they want to see a demo on so and so date or whatever. And the MHRD has not approved, not send you money. So we work backwards. And you know, the day we gave the demo, the previous day we got the money. So we have to work out. So it, it, it is an exercise in many things. Uh, now my role after writing that initial document with the others is just to call meetings once a week and have tea. And the rest of the people really do the work. But we would like to get feedback from all of you. I think after some time, we will open it up to a small closed user group. We just got our equipment in place. We will open it up to a small closed user group for you to start giving comments. For example, uh, 
those some people give us comments on functionality but even on functionality when i saw the taylor and francis site and others they have a tremendously nice gui their gui is wonderful but in terms of basic functionality i was very much surprised to see that we have ourselves just scratching our heads i think some library experts are there but by scratching and some learning people are there by scratching our heads we've got a uh, lot of uh, we, the ideas that we set up really makes it a little different from uh, the others makes it um, uh, puts in functionality and potential uh, in a different way our target is not just the person who can purchase books and who is very proficient in our eventual target is to try and reach those people who do not have access and today it is just not books and material today this whole of the nme ict projects which has got the whole of npt we have now included whole of npt tomorrow we want to include the whole of the virtual laboratories the spoken tutorials all the thing that has been done so it has now become an integrating platform for the 1500 crores that mhrd has spent on technology enhanced learning so that has become very interesting and there are some side stories also since we so now i think it, the time has come we can have open it up once uh, we are able to we've just got our new infrastructure we will we'll be opening it up to uh, we'll be porting it on to that infrastructure because it will require a huge amount of infrastructure the good thing is that because of the requirement once we start accessing it outside from outside there will be a huge bandwidth requirement and mhrd has in principle said you give an application for an additional nkn line for this so we will put in an additional nkn line for this and then we will start using the expertise of of the iit people at iit kharagpur and the students to develop innovative applications around it. so once you have this repository you can all develop innovative applications around it for example this library will allow you to collect information of all papers which have plots of rainfall in india now if you can collect all papers which have plots of rainfall in india and then you can go to those plots and then can do image processing and convert those plots into tables and collect all the information of various papers that are there on that same topic whether it is on deep spin or something that putin tries to teach me once in a while i don't understand or or on rainfall or on anything then you can imagine the amount of information collection that it will produce so eventually we will be able to not only collect information from different sources but we will be enabling a new kind of discovery oriented research that will flow from there so there is a big dream that we all have and uh, we have moved a few baby steps and this is the first uh, concrete baby step which is like getting up a little and uh, i wish to thank uh, all my colleagues who are members of the digital library team who have uh, devoted enormous time and effort uh, other than the four people here you see shibu there you see plamu you see shudeshna then you see uh, dr nan um, there behind who is our cto of this uh, event and then there are the library people who are working all the time on this uh, project activity there is moina who is now responsible for the gui because after seeing uh, this uh, i think we now need gui prepared by us and we prefer very simple gui but that will not be sufficient for people of the modern age to start using it and eventually i think we want to get into an agreement not only with the big publishers with all the small every person in the world to try and put that information up on the library to make it both uh, a unique competitive collaborative and a discovery oriented platform so let us hope for the best let us hope for all your good wishes and your participation 
and uh, thank you Dr. Sukhudhar and uh, Sukhudhar for uh, arranging this first step. We hope that we will succeed. Thank you.